The Blood Scar Blade is one of my favourite weapons in Skyrim. It has a great design, an interesting quest, and a unique enchantment that gives it the added versatility of range. But where did this mysterious blade come from? Well, unfortunately, the Blood Scar Blade is one of those weapons we just don't know all that much about. In fact, we only know three things for sure. One is that it was created by a clan of Nords on Saltstein called the Blood Scar Clan, and the other two are owners of the blade, one being the Nerevarine, as you can acquire the blade in the Blood Moon DLC for Morrowind, and the other being the Dragonborn, as you can acquire it in Skyrim's Dragonborn DLC. So the question becomes, what the hell is this thing? Well, it being Solstheim, my theory is that the blade was created by the Bloodskull clan for the purpose of fighting were creatures. The sword is made of silver, after all. But that is, of course, all just speculation on my part. Now, of course, in vanilla Skyrim, this sword is already fantastic. It shoots a red blast of energy that changes depending on the direction of the player's power attack, and the blast itself does 30 points of damage. As a side note, you can also use the Energy Blast whilst using the Become Ethereal Shamp, which basically just makes you invincible. But as great as the sword is, it wouldn't be one of these videos if we didn't take a look at the Reliquary of Myth mod by Titan's Mane. And I think the changes here really suit this weapon perfectly. For one thing, it gives the blade the benefits of being a silver weapon, so 20% extra damage against were creatures and undead. But it also adds scaling to the weapon. When under level 15, the Energy Blast will do 10 damage, but will go up by 10 damage every 10 levels levels to a maximum of 60 damage, doubling the vanilla power. The blasts now also have increased range and speed, and to bring it in line with other weapons, the blade now has a charge meter. As always, this mod is available on both PC and Xbox. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe so you don't miss any future content, and I will see you next time.